hopes for better hoof care. Well, Ray, your horses win more than everybody else's combined. So there must be some secrets that you can share with us. Well, I don't know whether they're secrets or not. It's just that I, I try to do the best what my dad taught me. Uh, he was a very, very good horseshoe also. And we try to keep the horse's foot balanced. I'm looking at his feet and see how he sets them down as he's walking. I'm very, very gentle with these horses. Very gentle. I let them give me the foot. I don't take their foot. I let them give it to me. When, when the horse gives you his foot, they stand much better. And one of the most important part of shoeing a horse, any horse, especially a thoroughbred, is you got to keep the feet level. That's the most important thing. It's like a carpenter building a house. If you don't start level, by the time he's done with that house, he's in trouble. This is another very, very important step. I'm doing what you call freeing the sole of any contact when I get ready to put that shoe on there. Otherwise, you're going to have what they call sole pressure. That'll make a horse go sore. This is coming out very nice. I'm very happy so far with what we've done here today with this horse. And we got a nice angle here of the pastern. There'll be no pressure here. The way he's shot right now, there's no pressure here. There'll be no fluid here. This will be beautiful. We put a little wedge up in front to get that angle correct, and he's putting his feet very level on the ground because he's shot level. That's why I kept stressing that they have to be level before you put the shoe on.